53. Hey kids, welcome back. This is your BFM tutorial, basic fighter maneuvers or ACM, air combat maneuvering. The first maneuver we're going to try is an offensive maneuver. You see here, and this is your cockpit 3D view. So we have in front of us a MiG-29 right there. It's uh, in front of you at your 12 o'clock. And we're going to try to defeat this bandit. It's going to perform a changing angular relationship towards you. So he's coming from the left to the right. So this is why if you turn right into the bandit and you start turning with him, you're going to end up in front of him. So what you should do is just keep your plane straight, hold on your corner speed, 330 with 440 knots. Let the bandit disappear on your 3 o'clock right here. As soon as he goes away from your field of view, you will start turning towards the bandit. But, because every time you have the chance to shoot somebody, you shoot. So, let's get this guy a little taste of an M9. So I'm just gonna set up my countermeasures, two, four, and I'm gonna go up, set my dogfight with D, cycle through my M9 missiles. And I'm going to use the M9X. And you see these in all the other tutorials. Now you see the 3D view. Now you see your hit second cursor, the diamond in the middle. It's not tracking anything yet. So we're going to wait for that bandit to go in front of us and lock him up with the M9 and fire a missile and see if you can hit it. If you can't, then we'll start our maneuver towards the right, try to get in his 6 o'clock. So here we go. There he is, right in the middle. So I'm going to lock on him, I'm going to go to my ACM and engage my board site. I hope that because I have it first. There you go. Slow board site. Now he should be across right there. Now he's locked. Basically, what I wanted to show you is the overtake. So just keep your eye on your overtake. And when you get behind him, I see it's 6 o'clock. Don't let the overtake be more than 50 knots. Otherwise, he'll hit the brakes and you go fly by right over him and he will be now on your six o'clock and you'll become defensive so there he is he's locked and um, I'm just gonna fire a missile real quick and see if I can get him I'm just gonna tilt my wings and fire a missile Fox two. That didn't work. I'm gonna pass it again. So now the bandit is. It was too close for us to get a missile. So let's see where he is. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. He's over there. And you are turning. So he's right now. As his nose down, and he's gonna start diving, so he can get underneath you real fast. So what you're going to do is try to go around him. Two factors affect both turn radius and turn rate. Aircraft G's and airspeed. Aircraft G is how hard you are turning the aircraft, which is determined by how much you are pulling back on the joystick. The more you pull back on the joystick, the more G you are 
commanding. This increased G will lead to a tighter turn radius and a faster turn rate most of the times. Fighter aircraft have a limit to how much G you can pull. If you pull G's beyond this limit, you will cause the aircraft to fail structurally or you will black out. The maximum G you can pull without breaking the jet is called max G. In the F-16, the max G is 9 G's. The aircraft is automatically limited to 9 G's by the G limiter built into the flight control system. The other factor affecting turn rate and radius is airspeed. There is a direct relationship between airspeed and G. And there you are. Now you are right behind me again and you are ready to fire. The F-16 has an optimum airspeed range for making the quickest and tightest turn. This airspeed range is called corner velocity at 330 knots and above. In your F-16 you can pull 9 G's but below 330 knots you don't have enough air going over the wings to pull 9 G's. Now you can also use your number 4 key to track the bandit. So if you hit 4, there it goes. Now you see the red dot on the MiG-29. And now you can maneuver while following that target. So let me show you. Come on. I know it sounds simple, basically all you have to do is fly to about 300 knots and then you'll be fine, but that's not true. Above 440 knots you can still put 9 G's, but your turn radius will increase dramatically, while your turn rate actually goes down. This is because above 440 knots the jet's flight control system does not allow you to pull any more than 9 G's. The extra airspeed only hurts your ability to turn the aircraft. There is an optimum airspeed for turning the jet. This airspeed is called corner velocity and it is between 330 and 440 knots to achieve the best turn rate on an F-16. Now let's talk about specific energy. In this chart you can see the PS or P sub S chart. This chart shows a series of fluid lines that represent specific energy states of the F-16 at an altitude of 1500 feet and a drag index of zero. The drag index is determined by what is loaded externally on the jet. The zero P sub S line is the area of the chart where the jet can maintain airspeed and altitude for a specific G load. The P of S lines that have negative values represent the flight regime in which the jet will lose either airspeed or altitude. And the P of S lines with positive numbers represent where the aircraft has the potential to gain altitude or airspeed. And now the moment of truth. We're gonna try to kill this guy, so let's see if that happens. Here we go. Up in flames. There he 
yes, that's it, my friends. That's your offensive basic fighter maneuver.